Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not something I came up with. This was actually uh, Mario's Gaming World. I will leave a direct link to his version. I only changed one card, and that's because I don't have it right now. I traded it to one of the local players, and I thought I had a playset. There's another one on the way, so it will be replaced later. But I'll just launch right into this. This is a Megazoo deck. So I run four Demi V mods. If the Digimon has jamming, they get to draw a card that I'm attacking with. That's that's it. <laughs> I run four V mods. So it has jamming. This goes with the Demi V mod. So when I digivolve into it, I'll get a draw. When I bring it out and swing, I'll get a draw off the jamming. So what this is is pretty much draw power. And also an engine for something else. We'll get to that. I run four Sister Mon Blancs. Yes, they are beautiful. Yes, they are glorious. Yes, I paid more than I should have for them. <laughs> but I'm super happy I have them. It's got the effects of on play, I get to draw a card. And then during all turns, as long as I have a Hakamon or a Royal Knight, we're only going to focus on Royal Knights for this deck. Pretty much. It's a blocker. Which is fun. <laughs> as well as this, with the new BT7 stuff, I also added in two Sistermon Blanc Awakened. So on play, I can place a Blanc from my hand or trash underneath this Digimon to recover one. That's great. On deletion, I get to return a Jessmon, Hakamon, or Sistermon not awakened Blanc back to my hand from the trash. So it can help me recycle my Blancs. And especially if I put one underneath. That is it for the rookies. But the point is, there's four blockers and four jammers right there. For my champions, I only run three. Two Grumblemon. This is just a swing for game. This is the black version of Lobomon in this deck. And then one CL. So all my Royal Knights gain plus 2k during my turn and my opponent's turn. And then on play, I gain a memory. On to the ultimates. I run four Megadramons. It's got the inheritable of during my turn, this Digimon swings for 2k more. And then also, it's treated as black. That is very useful. Next card is treated as red, and that's Gigadramon. During my opponent's turn, it gets plus 2k. This is great for anything that has blocker underneath it. Sorry, on it. And there are a few. Last ultimates, I run two Savior Hakamons. I won't get the one Digivolving effect, and I don't care. I can play a Sistermon from hand without paying its cost. Second effect, though. If I have a Sistermon in play, I get to unsuspend the Digimon that's just attacked. So that is the ultimate stack. Now the Megas. This is a Mega Zoo, so there, there's a few. First one. Oh, do I want to show you first? Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Sorry, we're switching things. We're going to start with the Royal Knights. <laughs> I run three Jasmons. These all ideally digivolve over the Savior Hakmon, so I can swing twice, bring out two Sistermons. But again, when attacking, uh, I can bring a Sistermon from trash or hand without paying pain its cost. Second effect, if I play another Digimon, I gain plus 3k and piercing, so I can swing over stuff and just not care and still check security. Oh, you're, this is so much fun. So yeah, Royal Knights with Royal Knights. This is the reason why I run treated as black, treated as reds. Craniumon. It's a blocker. During all turns, anything with blocker can't be deleted. I, it can be DP reduced, it can be returned to hand, but it can't be deleted. And there's not a lot of cards that will stop that. At least that people are running that I'm aware of. These are the Megas I'm looking forward to sharing. <laughs> For Bryway Ludramon, it's got the inheritable of being a blocker. That's the thing that matters with this. And then one Durandamon. That's right, this is a Ragnarok Mon deck. <laughs> that is everything for the Megas, level 6s. Now my level 7s. This is where I hit the issue of only having three of them. Three Ragnarok Mons. Oh, Durandamon gives piercing. There we go. <laughs> he has security attack plus one and a reboot. When I Digivolve, I can place a Durandamon or Bryway Ludramon underneath it to gain three memory. So those five Megas I showed at the end there, they can all go underneath them and they can all give different triggers. The one I want to aim for is Bryway Ludramon, because then I will gain three memory and I'll now have, have a blocker with reboot and security attack plus one. That's 14,000. <sighs> 
one Akumon bomb and bravery. This is my little tech choice until I get the card I'm missing, which is another regular Lord Mon. When attacking, if I have a Tamer, I can delete one of their 13,000 or less Digimon. That's a pretty wide margin. During my turn, when the opponent's Digimon is deleted, trash top card of their stack. So I could do that and swing for game if they're down to one security, because I'll just delete their blocker and then go for game. So this is my, that's everything there. For my Tamers, I don't have three full arts, sorry. Three starter deck Izzy's, this is the BT4 version. Memory Tamer, and let's me look at the top three cards in my deck and rearrange them. I might take this down to two, even though I do like the ability to look at the top three cards in my deck, because the odds are not in favor of me getting what I want, which is one memory. And then Ty. He's in another memory tamer, he'll put me up to three. And then all my Digimon get plus one K, specifically the block ones. So this is great for Cranium on. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> These are for the Jessmon, pretty much. For Judgment of the Blades. Anything with Hawkmon or Royal Knight in its type can attack over unsuspended Digimon. And that security effect is I can play a sister mod from a hand or trash without paying its cost. This could bring me back another blocker. Which is really fun. And then another BT7 card. Tidal Wave. I can choose up to two Digimon in my Digivolution cards of one of my Digimon and play them at play them without paying the cost. So if I have that Ragnar Lord Mon that's got like a few Digimon underneath it, like a Savior and a Jess, for instance and Bribe Ludramon, I could take out the Jessmon and the Savior Huckmon, leave the Bribe Ludramon. If I have a Memory Tamer, there are four, but I got two more Digimon on board, and I can just keep going for game and keep getting all these effects off. So it's it, it's really fun. I haven't won a match with it yet. I played a quick game yesterday with somebody just because I was so excited to play it. Uh, <laughs> he hit a tidal wave in, my first, in his first security check, so I got to play another ultimate out, and I could have went up, but I never got the chance. He ended up pitching it on the second turn, I think. Last two cards is I run one ultimate flare for DDG evolving and board wiping a bunch of rookies, and then Iron Fisted Onslaught. I'm still in between. I might want to switch to just two Iron Fisted Onslaughts. Because it seems like when they know you're playing a black deck, they'll, just, they'll hard play more without fear. Because it's like, oh, what's he going to do? DDG evolve me? Burn an Iron Fisted Onslaught. Anyways, that is the deck. This is a lot of fun. And just a quick highlight Digimon is Craniumon. Blockers can't be deleted. He's a Royal Knight. She's a blocker. She gives blocker to everything that's a Sistermon, as long as there's a Royal Knight. So it can't be deleted, because he won't let it. Till next time.